Вы смотрите на проявление нечистого духа. In the 
name of Jesus Christ. Baba. in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out! Come out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Powerless demon. That is the end. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. What a wonderful, wonderful testimony. Can you please introduce yourself and let's get us straight. Your name is what? My name is Ramona and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. So you are not Satan. If I just want to get that, that clear, somebody's like, who's Satan? No, definitely not. Oh, amen, amen. What a wonderful, what God Almighty has done in life. It is truly, truly amazing. Let us start off with uh, what brought you into this place? What, what are some issues and problems that you were facing in your life that said, hey, I need God's intervention in my life? Well, everything has a foundation. Um, I'm from a little island called Haiti, where 85% of the population practice witchcraft and voodoo. Um, and my, my own grandfather was a voodoo priest. My mom and dad practiced voodoo. So I grew up practicing it, thinking it was a good thing. I didn't know I was calling out demon on myself. That made me drink blood. Um, basically, I grew up worshiping Satan. And this is a culture in Haiti. Worshiping Satan is our culture. Um, I didn't know any better. I didn't believe in God. I didn't know it was will. But I, I thought the devil was my God. Wow. It Tell us, what are some things in your life, in your personal life, that you were facing that begins to see those traits of Satan interfering in your life and defeating you and stealing from your life? Uh, I've been married for 13 years with a wonderful man. He loves me very much. Um, but I've done a lot of wrong to him. I couldn't love him back the way that he loves me. I, I couldn't feel um, the same love that he had for me. There's always trouble in our marriage. I'm co always causing trouble. I'm always angry, always snapping at him, snapping at my two children. I hate everyone around me. Everyone around me hates me. You know, can hold on to a job. I'm a teacher. I've been, I teach at the public school. I've been to several positions. I can't stay at one place because, I, I mean, I just, no one can stand me and I can stand uh, uh, everybody else. It was just chaos for me everywhere. Money comes in all the, all the time and money goes out the window all the time. Chaos in my family, no relationship. I don't talk to my mother. I don't talk to my brother. I don't talk to my family. I'm just a lonely person. I've just been miserable. I've just been in a cage and I've been tortured in my sleep every night. I mean, okay, and, and as we heard in the, in the confession that, that the demon said that it has sex with you every night. Can you talk about that? And that's those dreams. How did that affect your affection towards your, your husband? Uh, I think that's where the problems come from. It's a husband spirit. So I got married to that, to that husband spirit. I literally got married to a spirit uh, named, it, they work by peers named Sakabus and Incubus. Um, they would come and have sex with me at night. So that made it uh, the result of that so I wouldn't have any affection towards my husband. Wow. And can you tell us how did that affect your health? And we heard in the confession also that, that it wanted to kill you or it set you on fire. Can you explain a little bit more about that? It did kill me. I did try to kill myself. I did throw myself in front of a car. And I did got secondary burn all over my body. Um, and till to this day, I'm weak in my right arm. And I do believe one day God will heal me. So that, that demon, that evil spirit made you want to commit suicide, to burn yourself, to be able to destroy your life? Yes, and I did just that, yes. Wow. So what happened yesterday? Apostle John Chi began to, to pray for people. And all of a sudden we see this angry woman begin to want to fight the apostle. Describe what is happening to us at that moment. 
Well, as I was sitting in the fifth row over there, I just couldn't wait for him to call upon me. I just felt so upset at him. All I wanted to do, I heard a voice telling me, as soon you get up there, make sure you slap him. Make sure you give him a good punch. That's all I wanted to do. I mean, I felt anger towards him. So there was something inside it that was telling you to punch him. Even you said some things that were like very hard to understand. <laughs> you, were, you were cursing at him and you were saying all these things. And we know that, that that wasn't you. No, that was not me. Definitely not. And what did you experience as the apostle began to pray for you and began to cast that demon out? And when you were on the floor, you finally got up and you began to uh, cry and you began to hug the apostle. What, what changed from being this angry woman into a loving person? Uh, I felt love towards him. I felt compassion. You know, I mean, I came here because I knew God was, was going to work through him, you know, to deliver me. So you believe that God Almighty has set you free and delivered from this Lucifer spirit, this hatred inside of you, that everything that the enemy has been doing in your life, that God has completely has set you free. Do you believe that? I definitely believe that. I cried out to God to bring me here. I said, this is it. I said, the way I come, I am not going back in Massachusetts the same way. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, who is our deliverer, who is our savior. Don't, don't leave it. Wow, what a wonderful, wonderful testimony. And you came here all the way from where? Massachusetts. Wow, all the way from Massachusetts to be at this Race to Deliver conference. What is your advice to some people that are sitting in this place? Maybe they're facing the same thing. Maybe they're, they're experiencing those uh, sex in the dreams or experiencing hate or things are just falling apart. What can you give them the advice? Who's the author of all this pain and sickness? I mean, if you hung, I mean, angry all the time, um, having weird dreams, and um, this, it's not normal. You know, go to a church, find a pastor, pray, and find a place where they have deliverance services. Because prayer only is not going to do anything for you. You have to be delivered. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you so much for this wonderful testimony.